You've been gone too long, Alice. I think there's a reason why Alice has been around for so long. It's something that's a classic, and that's why you feel comfortable doing the different interpretation of it. There's a certain freedom about that. Where is Alice? Take care, dear Alice. Tim has such very particular ideas about how this world should and could be. It was wonderful getting to come back to a world of limitless imagination. Tim established the look of Underland, the feeling, the language. It was like saying hello to an old friend. You can really go beyond what you've done before. <laughs> Coming back through the looking glass to reopen the relationship between the Hatter and Alice. You seem to have time all mixed up. <laughs> That's what I've been told. It was a fantastic experience. Alice is a great character. She's very much her own person and quite a bit more confident in this film. It's nice to play somebody like that. It's a very emotional story and it's very grounded in relationships, even though it has this great fantastical background. For me, the visual elements of it are part of the story. You get to explore those real themes, but in a more fanciful way. What are you waiting for? Let's go! I love when any artist has a stamp. And Tim Burton is one of those artists. Tim would embrace that psychedelic world. But that's the enduring appeal. The style that he has and a sensibility. Run, Alice! It's such a fantastic achievement. You have a look, you know, it's like Burton-esque is an amazing thing. It's that girl again!